This is the time of the year when the right thinking people begin to make an evaluation. They begin to look at the year in retrospect. They begin to evaluate their decisions, their actions, where they are. They look back to the beginning of 2019. They go into the drawing board. What did I set out to achieve in 2019? Did I achieve it? Am I on the right track? Have I fallen out of the way? Did I do anything wrong? What are those things I did wrong? Did I do anything right? Could I have done it better? Is there a way I could have done it and make it better than what it is right now? This is a period of retrospection. This is a period of evaluation. This must be for you a period where you what do what we call reappraiser. You begin to reappraise some of your actions, behaviors, and the things you did in 2019. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the Almighty God, the God who made you and me, the maker of the heavens and the earth, the God who cannot die, will not die, shall never die. Put another word in my mouth this morning to speak to you to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to empower you so that you can live a life to prevail over evil, those things that make some people fall, so that you can prevail over those things and rule over your enemies. And today I pray in the name of Jesus that the glory of God will shine upon your life as you make a reappraisal of the outgoing year. May God give you a vision a bright, clear vision for the coming year 2020. May God begin to speak to you. May God begin to give you guidance and direction. May your ears be open to hear what God is saying. May your understanding be enlightened to understand what God wants you to do in the new coming year 2020. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Today I just want you to understand that one of the reasons for failure is that we don't reappraise, we don't evaluate, we don't judge ourselves. The Bible says that anyone that judges himself will not be judged. We need to get to a point in our lives where we need to look at our actions. We need to judge the way we spoke. We need to look at our work. We need to judge ourselves. We need to look at what we have done, rightly or wrongly. We need to look at our spiritual life. Where are we? Then we need to look back at the beginning of 2019. What did I set out to do? If you didn't set out to do anything, it becomes difficult to make a praiser. That is why it is very important the beginning of the year to set some goals. Because if you don't set a goal, you just be playing. You don't have a goal. You don't have so, a, a, a direction. A, a man without a goal is a man without direction. And somebody said, if you don't have a direction, surely the devil will give you direction. So, if you did not start out 2019 with a plan, with a goal, with a purpose, then you know that you cannot and must never make that mistake in 2020. 2020 is another year that is very, very important in the history of mankind. 2020 is a landmark year. 2020 is a year, is a phenomenal year. A lot is going to happen. It's a prophetic year. 2020 is a prophetic year. You cannot afford to enter into that year unprepared. You cannot afford to approach the year 2020 without a proper plan. You cannot afford to enter into that year without having a partnership with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You cannot and you must not dare enter into the year 2020 without having a partnership with the Holy Spirit. Because you have to understand that you need a plan for the year 2020. Now, but before we begin to talk about the year 2020, let's quickly look at year 2019. You sit down and write in a paper 10 things you, you think you did not do very well. Please try and do this. It will help you. Write 10 things you think in your mind that you did not do very well. Be realistic. Be objective. 
Be true to yourself. You cannot lie to yourself. You can lie to me. You can lie to your father, to your mother, to your pastor. But I know you cannot lie to yourself. So don't lie to yourself. Write those 10 things that you think you did not do well. Then take another sheet of paper. Write another 10 things that you think you did very well. Write 10 things that you think you did very well. Then take yet another paper and write 10 things that you think that you could have done better. 10 things that you think you did, but maybe I could have done it better. Write those 10 things. So three sheets of paper. The first sheet of paper, write 10 things that you know you did not do very well. The second sheet of paper, 10 things that you think you know that you did very well. And the last sheet of paper, write 10 things that you think you could have done better. When you do this, uh, it's going to help you. But I will continue this message tomorrow. This is where I'm going to stop today. Thank you so much for listening. I believe God is on your side. God will help you. You will go from strength to strength in Zion. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. You are able to hear this because the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga uh, contributed their hard-earned money so that we can spread this message to more platforms. And I believe God will bless them. God will, every partner, God will bless you. You will go from strength to strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you are hearing this from any platform or somebody rebroadcasted this to you and you want to get it directly from me on your WhatsApp, just save my number. My number is plus two seven seven four zero three zero two. 381. Save it right now with I Prevail. Go to your WhatsApp and locate I Prevail. Then send me a message. Let the message be at me. From tomorrow, you'll begin to receive messages like this. And this message will not stop. It's a daily affair for as long as I live. That's a promise and a guarantee. Thank you so much once again. It's your brother, your friend, your pastor, the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ, signing out this morning. And saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.